What's up, LNT fam? Welcome back to another video. Today is an exciting day. We're gonna be bidding on one of the cars that I really like, and we're buying this car for one of the OG subscribers. If everything goes well, you guys are gonna get to meet them at the end of this rebuild. So we got 2018 Mercedes GLE 350. It's located in Northern California, so unfortunately we can't look at it. We're gonna have to go based off the pictures. Little sketchy car, and I'll show you exactly why it's sketchy. So let's jump in and see what's going on with this car. Thing looks good up here, up here. So looks like quarter panel, both doors got damaged. But the sketchy part is uh, they stripped the whole car, like even the interior pieces. So look at this, so everything is stripped. And I don't know if it comes with it. Hopefully the body shop took the car apart put everything back together because there is a big pile of parts in the back so I'm hoping everything is there then this car is going to be a good buy but if a lot of pieces are missing expensive like the mirror the trim panel and stuff like that then all that stuff could add up real quick and this car is going to be expensive so we're not going to go too crazy and also they didn't show the miles for some reason parking brake so they didn't show the miles but i ran the carfax the car has about thirty-five thousand miles so not too bad i like the combination white with black interior so if everything goes well we should be able to buy it i want to bid around my max 16.5 so that's one of those i don't want to overpay because if a lot of parts are missing then you're screwed because those kind of parts you can't really find them used they're gotta be dealer parts so I'm crossing my fingers everything's gonna go well auction starts uh, very soon so stay tuned and i'll show you the bidding process Reserve off. come on come on come on Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, give it to me, give it to me. Yes. You won. <laughs> we got it, woohoo. Man, hopefully it's a good one. Oh, so this, is, this is completely gamble. What do you guys think? Risky business there. Very risky business. Hopefully all the parts are there. Just crossing my fingers. Let's go pay for it and we should have it back very shortly. Total comes out to 16,428 and 75 cents. Let's go. Let's make that cashier's check and get this thing shipped ASAP. Well, there you guys go. You guys saw how much we won the car for. So comment below. What do you guys think? Is this a good deal or not? Would love to hear your feedback. And also, if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your bell notification because we post new videos every week. New week, new video. So go ahead and subscribe. Enough of this talk and let's go see what we got. this beauty i got extremely lucky there's tons of parts inside so most likely everything is there and i also saw a bunch of uh, tags and bags so they obviously uh, removed everything and put everything in the bags oh, look at this oh i love i love to find stuff like this look at this bunch of stuff but overall beautiful car white with black interior good tires i'm gonna sell those i'm putting different ones wow but clean beauty look at this and pretty nice damage both new doors and maybe a quarter i'm gonna try to fix this maybe i could fix this one but overall beautiful 
40,000, so pretty good miles and check it out. All kinds of goodies in here, love it. So we're gonna pull the car inside and start taking everything apart and seeing what we need. <laughs> and I'll start ordering the doors and uh, start working on the quarter panel. But super excited about this one, man. And we're gonna do a GLE 63 conversion on this thing. So it's gonna look insane, love it. So yeah, let's pull this inside and we'll go from there. We got a navigation. So that's awesome. Forty miles, so that's not bad, you know. Fairly new, fairly low miles. Not the lowest, it's a 2018, but somebody's been driving it obviously as a daily, but that's fine. This should be a good rebuild. So we got the Mercedes side of the shop, so now the fun part. We gotta start removing everything and seeing what we have and what we need to order. So let's go. Looks like we got pretty much everything except for uh, driver's side door panel is missing. That's the only thing is missing as of right now, but let's take a look. So rear bumper is complete here. All the plastic, seat belts, all the bolts. It looks like there's tons of them in here, so everything marked. So that's, that's really good. Here's the trim panel. So yeah, everything looking good for the most part. Awesome. Here's for the front door handle and all the fun stuff. Botel lights, mirror, windows. So yeah, overall super happy with the car. Everything looking good. So I ordered two used doors. I think they're gonna be white color too. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers. So I got everything out of the car and we got pretty much everything. So I slowly start putting everything inside of the car so we could see what's missing and what's not. So let's start with the front end. Front, we got this cover, it's here. Then we got both fender liners, rocker, and rear fender liner. And also got the uh, Miro right here, uh, windows, and that's all the trim is here. So all the wisers, all the trim panel, everything is here. So really good. Let's go around the back. The back, same thing, everything's together. I got the headliner as well and bunch of bolts. Everything, look at this. And then the rear bumper is good as well. 
so we're gonna install the rear bumper right now I got the seat belt I got the panels the only thing I'm missing is a front trim panel but that's it that sucks but it is what it is that's the only thing it's missing but other than that we got everything so super happy with this purchase oh man really good car can't wait to start rebuilding it So I got extremely lucky and I was able to find two used doors, same colors, complete doors. So we're just gonna slap that on. But right, let me show you guys. Boom, check it out. Perfect, complete door, white. And same with the rear door, complete. So I don't have to do anything, pretty much just repaint them. And that's it, so super, super lucky with that. And also, I was able to find a used quarter as well, so worked out perfect white color as well so i got a used quarter so we could replace this section super lucky that i was able to find a local junkyard and they had everything what i need so i could start installing the doors right now because my other doors got pretty messed up this one's completely bad this one's repairable, but I just didn't want to deal with this. Just gonna put two new doors and that's it and call it a day. I want to be bundle free, you know, just make it clean and perfect. progress report I just installed the doors and looking good just the way I like it boom look at those almost the same color just to shade off but inside looks the same because see it's pearl white on the exterior and it's just white on the interior it, so we got lucky but everything else looking good like nothing ever happened so we'll start uh, working on a quarter panel and I got a used quarter panel so I'm thinking I'm just gonna probably section it up right here somewhere I'm not gonna replace the whole thing because everything else is good up here so I don't want to mess with the factory welds yeah we're just gonna do a section cut off and that's it once again I know some of you gonna be like yo Vlad what is this butcher stuff you're doing it's not butcher it's just saving time and uh, my energy and I don't want to mess with the factory because the rest of the quarter panel is perfect so I want to leave the factory quarter and I'll just do the dog leg it's called I believe just do a suction put a new one and bada bing bada boom let's go and here is the new used quarter panel so yeah I'm thinking somewhere down here just chop it up and this way I don't have to replace the whole thing. We'll jump on this, we'll start cutting it out and we'll go from there.
just removed the quarter, half of the quarter. Man, it was a lot of work, let me tell you, because I wanted to remove it carefully so I don't have to drill the holes through the spot weld. So I was drilling from behind, but let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, I just removed this section of the quarter and I was drilling everything from behind because I didn't want to drill the holes up front and then weld. I want to do a clean job and use a spot welder to weld this dog leg they call this I believe so see how everything is clean so I could still use the spot weld machine to weld this back on the only thing I drilled is at the bottom and then we'll just weld this back on but I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna start test fitting on the, on the car and cutting the the old one out so something like that little progress the old quarter so once I clean that up I'm probably gonna cut this one like this and at the bottom and then this way I'll put a little bit of body filler and we're good to go so I just removed all the seat belts uh, three of the seat belts were damaged and somebody cut them and I just removed the passenger as well I'm gonna send them out to LND solutions they're gonna rebuild them big shout out to them if you ever guys need uh, your seat belts rebuilt I'll put a link in the description you guys could reach out to them and they could change the colors of the seat belts as well so I think I'm gonna go with the red one but let me show you what I'm talking about so see the back seat belts they got locked so they somebody cut them so I'm gonna need new seat belts and I'm thinking since they're cut I'm gonna replace them with red one and same with the front one somebody cut them so yeah I'm gonna replace them with the red seat belts I'm gonna ship them out they're gonna rebuild them and ship them back to me but let me show you the interior I pretty much take everything out so yeah everything is removed I had to change one of the curtains airbags as well so yeah a lot of pieces you have to put everything back together well, let's pack it ship it out and while we're waiting for the seat belts we'll start working on the quarter panel pack this up and ship it out that's how you save money instead of going and buying every single seat belt and each seat belt's a couple hundred bucks this this way you ship it out they'll rebuild them and they'll be exactly like factory so right here check them out and uh, if you guys need any kind of service reach out to them and they'll take care of you little progress report on the mercedes so I, I installed the rear bumper so the back end is perfect and i was lucky enough like i said i found two new used doors it's uh, same color pretty much they're pearl white mine is white so I don't have to jump the doors because inside they're just white let me show you so they're a little different color from the exterior but inside they're same color because whenever the car is pearl white the inside just white so they don't do pearl on the inside just the outside so yeah doors are good everything in working condition complete door so yeah piece of cake so next I gotta work on this quarter right now i shipped out all the seat belts to get reprogrammed and we're gonna start putting the interior back together once i get the seat belts slowly coming together we'll end the video here stay tuned for part two in part two we're gonna start working on the quarter put the car in the frame machine i gotta pull a little bit pretty much get the car ready for a primer if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content go ahead and subscribe and turn on your bell notification because we post new videos every week new week new video so go ahead and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video do свидания